Welcome back to the fourth and final part of building a corkscrew in Fusion 360. We have a few things left to do here. One of the first is to build the corkscrew of the, the screw, I guess, of the corkscrew. So we're going to start with the coil command. Use the base of the, the housing as the plane and use the center of the vertical gear to draw a quick circle, which will be the diameter of the coil. So once you have that preview, make sure that you then go ahead and specify how many revolutions the coil goes around. In this case, you can choose five or six. And you can also choose the section size of the coil and play with that option and make sure that it's a join and not a cut. Now, why did we pick the base of the housing as the plane off of which to draw? That's just so that the, co the coil itself has a smooth transition as it comes out of that vertical part. If I had picked that vertical part, the bottom of the vertical part itself, the coil would have needed a fillet or something else uh, to make it a smoother transition. So just an easier way to do it. The next thing I'm going to do is use the sculpt command and extrude that last circle at the bottom of the coil. We want to make that a pointed shape and we're going to use the sculpt command to be able to do that. Add an edge in the middle of that form. Let's go ahead and edit that form and this time I'm going to use the translation um, tool on the edit form to actually move that little edge over and off to the left so that it follows the path of the rest of the coil. Let's move that middle edge as well so that it's a smoother transition. And then of course you want to um, convert that last edge and you want to um, bring it into a point so that it's pointed so that it could in fact penetrate the cork and help open your bottles. So once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and finish form. If you're not, you can obviously right click on the form and continue to tweak it as you might like. In this case, I'm quite happy with what this form looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK or finish form. All right, most of our components are in place. The next thing we can do is actually turn the opacity of that housing back up. So let's go ahead and right click on that component, the grounded one, and Pick opacity control and move that right back up to 100%. Fabulous. Also, I want to point out that much like the grips on the arms, the um, surface that we just created for the point is still an open surface. It's not, in fact, a body. So let's go through that workflow uh, of patching that component. There you go. Create a patch and then stitch it with the rest of the body. So pick the patch and the body to stitch it. Now it's a solid body in place. Now we can turn the coil back on and then actually use the combine tool to be able to combine it with the rest of the coil. Let's go ahead and use the combine tool. In this case, I have the point already, uh, the pointy edge already picked and that won't let me use the combine tool. I need to have the coil picked first and then the end of the coil. That worked. Fantastic. Just to test that our corkscrew still works as functions, as we're uh, intended to function, let's move the arms up and down and we'll notice that the, the corkscrew, the vertical gear, as well as the little pointy edge and the handle all move in place as intended. Fabulous. A few components and joints really got us nicely set up there. With that, let's finally go into the render environment, apply some appearances or materials to our uh, corkscrew. Again, you can be creative here. I'm going to go with Chrome, um, both for the corkscrew as well as the arms. And I want a darker blackish material for the housing. Maybe it's Chrome, and then I can go ahead and edit that material to pick a darker version of that. Yeah, I think I like how that looks. Super. And once you're happy with how it's placed uh, within your design window, you can go ahead and hit the render button on the ribbon. And basically just um, wait and watch uh, until you get to a point that you're happy with what the rendering looks like and then go ahead and export it as an image. And it's really as simple as that. We started from scratch and we built an entire corkscrew in the last four tutorials. I hope you had as much fun as I did building the corkscrew with me. Thanks for watching.